<laughs> What'd you guys think of that intro? Pretty cool, right? I thought so anyway. Today we're talking about a basic concept here in DaVinci Resolve, and that is fading in and out your audio clips. There's a lot of reasons you might want to fade your clips in and out. I'm going to show you what I did on this intro sequence here and just show you how to fade in and out those clips really quickly and some of the options you have when you're trying to do it. It's a very basic concept here in Resolve, but if you don't know it, I'm going to show you how to do it. And then there's a good chance you're going to use it all the time. Today's video is sponsored by MotionRite. All of my sound effects, my music, my video clips here, all the overlays, everything that you're going to see in this video is from Motion Array. I encourage you guys to get on there, check it out, try out some of the free assets. That's right, there's some freebies on there for you. Check it out. It's a site where you can really just grab lots of things to make your videos awesome and take it to that next level. And I use them all the time. But thank you, Motion Ray, for sponsoring today's video. Let's jump into Resolve and learn how to fade some clips. Let's go. Jumping into DaVinci Resolve here, how do we fade our audio clips in and out really quickly? The first thing you need to do is take a look at your audio clip in your timeline, and we need to make this a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger, because we're not gonna get the little handles to fade in and out if we don't make our clip a little bit bigger. So to do that, it's very easy. Come to your timeline view options right here, and we can just come to our audio track and just make that a little bit bigger. It doesn't have to be huge, but it does have to be a little bit bigger. I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit just so you guys can see it better here. Now, if I hover my mouse over my clip, we can see we get this little white handle in the top left corner. So all I have to do is just click hold and drag that in and it's gonna fade in my audio clip. So instead of starting abruptly, it's gonna fade it in. Now maybe you wanna change the way that fades in. Does it come in fast and then slow down? Does it come in slow and then speed up? Well, if we click on this little dot right here, we can change the way that it comes in. It's gonna come in fast and then slowly get louder or do we want it to come in slow and then build up a little bit quicker towards the end. So let's just say I do this. Here's what that sounds like. Okay, kind of cool, right? You get the idea. Now it's the same thing on the end of our clip. Let's say we want to fade a clip out. Here's what it sounds like without the fade. All right, now let's say we want to fade it. So if I hover my cursor over top of the clip, we're going to get that little handle. We can click hold and drag it in. Now, if we leave it as a linear fade, this is what that sounds like. Okay, not too bad, but let's say we want to change it. Let's say we want it to fall off quick and then slowly die down. Here's what that sounds like. Okay, and we can even do it the other way if you want. That's what, here's what that sounds like. Now it does sound better in, in the end here if we you know bring it down like this, that's gonna sound a little bit better. But what this allows you to do is really start to blend sounds together rather than just have one abruptly start, one stop. And I use this a lot when I'm working with sound effects, right? We want those sounds to blend together and create an atmosphere like we did with that intro. So let's just take a look at the intro real quick and then I've got some bonus tips for you on how to fade in and out audio clips as well. So back to my little intro sequence here, you can see all the different audio clips. I've got different breaths and fabric sounds and like a pad underneath, different things to make that whole sequence kind of sound interesting and kind of cool. For example, you can see on the breaths, if I just solo my breaths track right here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, learn to count, Jay, five breath tracks here, and I faded them in and out just to kind of help blend them in a little bit more instead of just starting and stopping. Now, the sound effects themselves already kind of fade in and out, so adding in the fade on the clip just helps blend it together a little bit more. Here's what those sound like blended in. And I did the same with uh, some of the other tracks here. You can see faded them in, faded them out a little bit, kind of tried to blend them together a little bit. For example, this hit right here, right? I want it to come in and then hit, and then I want it to, you know, die down. Let's say I, I go like this, right? It's going to hit, and then it's going to die down kind of quickly there. Here's what that sounds like. Right, and when we blend it all together with everything, it kind of gets the sound effect that I'm looking for. So again, very useful for sound effects and blending different sounds together. You can have sounds on different tracks and, and uh, just fade them together and overlap them. That's how you start to get a good sound design for a cool little project, like the little sequence that I put together in the beginning here. Let's talk about a few bonus tips here for fading your clips in and out. So one way that you can do it is to use audio transitions. Check this out. I'm gonna come to my effects library at the top here. I'm gonna go to my audio transitions. And we can take a crossfade, I'm gonna say minus three dB, and I can throw it on the end of my clip. Now when I play through my clip, it should fade that clip out. 
So there you go. We just threw a crossfade on there. It's not fading to anything, but it automatically fades the clip for us. And I can drag this out, make it a little longer if I want. So let's say it's a little longer there. Here's what that sounds like. So it does a real good job. You just drop on that crossfade, boom, there you go. You're fading clips in and out really easily. And hopefully it's pretty obvious that you can use the crossfades to blend clips together too. If I have two music clips together, for example, moving back in my timeline here, I took the end of that song, right? The end of the song we were just looking at and a part that's a little bit earlier in the song and I blended them together because I want the song to end when my video ends, right? So I had to blend them together. So here's what that part sounds like. So there you go, it blends them together really nice. And the final way that you can kind of fade clips here is a little bit more advanced and it's using keyframes. Still pretty easy, but the quickest way that you can add in your keyframes is to take a look at your clip. You wanna make sure that you uh, have this gain line there and your waveform shown. If you don't, timeline view options, waveform right here, you can turn that on. If you're in Fairlight, cause you can do all this stuff in Fairlight too. If you're in Fairlight, there's actually a line to turn the gain line on in your timeline view options inside of Fairlight, but we're just in the edit tab right now. So here's how you add in some keyframes. So all you have to do is hover your cursor over top of that gain line. You're gonna get this little icon, the up and down arrows, hold your option key on a Mac or your alt key on a PC and just click on that line and boom, there's a keyframe for you. I'm gonna add in another one. And let's say I wanna fade this, right? I can just grab this point, this first point, and I can bring it down. I can move it around if I want. I can bring it up if I want. You've got options on what to do with it there. So let's say I go like that. And depending on how many keyframes you have, you can also just grab that line and bring that whole line up, right? Like this, if you wanted to. So there, now you have a little fade in using keyframes. Now you can also ease this in and out if you want. And there's two ways to do it. One is to hover over whatever the point is that you want to ease in or ease out of, right click. And right here, we've got ease in and boom, it's done, there you go. The other way that you can visually see it a little bit better is to click on the little, uh, we'll call it a reverse S there. I don't even know what that thing's called. Click on that guy right here, click on this guy. It's gonna open up your graph down below here and here is our volume keyframe. So I can select a keyframe and then I can change it, whether it you know fades in, fades out or whatever you wanna do here. So there you go, you can see that now we've got a handle, we can change that fade if we want, we can have it go up, go down. You get the idea here, you can customize it however you want. So that's three solid ways there that you can fade your clips in and out here in DaVinci Resolve. Now that you know how to fade your clips here in DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna be using it all the time. It just helps blend things together. It just makes your audio sound better because hey, loves me some good audio and you guys should too. Big thank you to Motion Right for sponsoring today's video. Definitely check out their website. They've got freebies on there. You can grab some freebies if you're interested. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Or hear some good audio on your videos. All right, we'll see you. Peace. Yeah, boy.